Whoa, Par, are you angry? Yes. Why? V took my pen. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let me talk to him. Okay. V, is this your pen? Yes, it's my pen. But I think it's Par's pen. Nope, it is mine. Look here, Lee. It says it's Par's. Oh, um, I guess it is Par's pen. Sorry, m my bad. It's okay. But wait, where's my pen? Maybe it's in your room? Here's your pen. Yay! <laughs> I guess I have to give back this pen now. That's Lee's pen? Yeah. I have my pen now. Great. Now let's focus. Okay. What are we doing today? We're going to talk about possessive S. What is that? We use possessive S when we want to say someone has something. Can you give me an example? Sure. For example, look at this pen. Mm -hmm. It says Lee. Okay. So this is Lee's pen. Oh, so if I want to say this mug belongs to Lee, can I say this is Mugs Lee? No. We add the possessive S to the person's name. So first comes the name and then apostrophe S. And then the thing that he has. So this is Lee's mug. Right. Or this phone this is lee's phone mm -hmm. and this is lee's book yes right but what do you have all these they're all lee's he took my pen so you took his everything yes okay all right take a look at these sentences this is my dad's house this is my parents' house. Why is the apostrophe after parents? And why is there no S? Good question. After plural nouns, we use the apostrophe without an S. What do you mean? For example, you have one brother, so you say, my brother's room. Mm -hmm. But Sarah has three brothers, so we write it like this, her brother's is room. So, if it is more than one brother, we say brothers. Yes, plural S. And when we want to say they have something, we put an apostrophe after the plural S. That's right. Pita, how do I make questions? What do you mean? How can I ask about the owner of something? Easy, we can ask, Yes, no questions. How do we do that? Look at this sentence. This is Lee's phone. Now change the place of this and is. Okay, so is this Lee's phone? That's right. And to answer, we say yes it is, no it isn't. So yes it is. But what if I want to know about the owner of something? And I don't want to ask yes, no questions. Then we have to use whose. How? We ask whose phone is this? Oh, okay. So we have whose plus a noun. Okay, like book. And the be verb. Like am, is, or are. And then this or that. Like whose book is this? Like I said, this is Lee's book. Please give it back to him. Maybe one day. <laughs>